This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Top Spin. The figure is part of the uh, second wave of Deluxe Class figures for the Dark of the Moon toy line. And folks, this is a very nice figure. It's fantastic, in fact. Uh, perhaps this is the best figure in the wave. Uh, I've only reviewed, this is the second one I've reviewed for Wave 2, but so far, He's looking very, very nice. Kind of reminds you of War Machine, if you're a big Marvel fan, with all these big guns here. Um, the legs will remind you of Animated Lockdown, or Nest Alliance Lockdown, uh, because of the, the front parts of the car are, are form parts of his upper thighs. And his feet really looks a lot like Lockdown. Uh, his hands will remind you of Animated Ratchet, because of these... Uh, they look, I thought they were electromagnetic EMP guns, but they're actually sort of like pliers or vice grips or robotic arms. I thought that he had gripper arm, uh, hands. I didn't actually think they'd have, he'd have fists. So they, I'm pretty cool. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty cool about that. I actually like the fact that he still has fist despite this, uh, fists despite these uh, grips or vices or robotic hands uh, looks like one of those arms that that are on an assembly line but anyway that's pretty cool on top of that if that if th these two grips or, or vice grips or robotic arms weren't enough his mech tech gun mech tech weapon actually transforms into a yep a claw a grip vice grip claw that's pretty cool be nice if there was a way to actually lock this one in place or just keep it like that. Rubber bands, I suppose, <laughs> would, would be okay. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Very, very cool figure. Articulation. Fantastic articulation, as you can see in my opening pose. Uh, lots of joints here and there, not just because of transformation. They really put a lot of joints in this guy. Uh, head is on, his neck is on a ball joint. Very nice. Before I forget, fantastic light piping. Most of the, the, the you, you've seen my review of, of uh, Roadbuster. These wreckers are really nice light piping. Uh, he's got a shoulder. He's got shoulder joints because of transformation, but main joint is really a ball joint socket right there. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel. He's got a hinge elbow, and as I said, the the, the fingers actually close, move in and out. That's pretty cool. He's got a waist swivel, mainly because of transformation. Ball jointed hip, uh, double jointed knee. His knee's a little bit high, um, just like Optimus Prime. Would have been nice if it were here, but that would have been. That's no, okay. I can live with that. Uh, and the ankle is very articulated for some reason. Um, it it's it. You know, people think it's unstable because it's like a Strax a Straxus Dark Mount uh, uh, ankles, Dark Mount's ankles, but it's it's pretty stable. It's a ball joint that's attached to the side and will allow you a lot of articulation on the ankle and give you a lot, a wider range of poses. That's very, very nice. So it's a great figure. It's a great alt mode. Lots of stuff to offer both in both modes. I'm, this is how a wrecker should be. I know there are a lot of NASCAR fans out there who are very happy with the box. Uh, the standard box, stock car, not a box, but a stock car without any armaments or whatever in alt mode uh, for Roadbuster. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know, armored mode or, or, or weapons mode in track mode is really the best way to go for, for these wreckers. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping the Leadfoot, uh, the Leadfoot Deluxe Class figure uh, comes well equipped with a lot of, of, of ammunition, especially in alt mode. I don't care if it's target exclusive. If they make it a target exclusive, whatever, I'm still going to get it. I, I hope they make it into a very weaponized robot and alt mode. So, the guns go, guns have a... Okay. The guns have a ball joint, as I was saying. Uh, they they go in all directions like that. They also have a hinge joint here, but because of transformation, and they can go up and down however you wish. But the official transformation is is like that. So I think these are laser cannons or 
whatnot. There's more guns up here. Oh, it's a well-equipped, just like War Machine. Uh, very, very cool figure. The silhouette is great. I'm very happy with this figure. Uh, size comparison, or just a comparison with Roadbuster. He's a little bit taller than Roadbuster, which is nice. Uh, Roadbuster had a lot to offer, I think, had they made him into a weaponized mode, uh, alt mode. They could have added more spikes here and there, uh, but or, or, or some more weaponry here and there, but they decided to go this way. I'm really looking forward to the Human Alliance version. I do hope they make a Human Alliance of this guy as well. Uh, but let's hope so. Uh, I don't think it's far-fetched to do that, so very cool. Uh, just for a size comparison, I don't have movie Bumblebee, Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee, but if you've gotten a, uh, I'm sure everybody has a Seeker mold somewhere in their shelf. So he's a little bit short, shorter than usual. Um, I was expecting him to be a little bit taller, but I guess he's normal. Okay, fine. Maybe he's he's just normal sized. I guess Roadbuster is the short one, and he's he's a normal sized deluxe, I suppose. So, okay, we'll, we'll we'll leave it at that. Okay, did I miss out on anything? Did I mention light piping? Very very cool light piping. Uh. That's about it for robot mode. So very cool. Transformation. Um, instructions were actually pretty helpful. There are a lot of panels here and there for transforming just a single piece or a single, uh, few steps are, are done in a lot of panels. But that's fine. They were actually very helpful. So good job, Hasbro, with the instructions for topspin. Uh, I've only transformed in once, so bear with me. Uh, while it's still fresh in my memory, let's try and transform him into his alt mode. First thing you want to do, push back his head all the way back. Rotate his biceps this way, or arms this way. Just keep it like that. And then uh, you want to transform the, the guns. Go ahead and rotate them backwards like that. They are actually removable, I think. Yep, you can actually put some mech tech weapons there. That's pretty cool. And as vice versa, you can actually put the guns here. And uh, this thing has popped off, popped off yet again. Uh, rotate it this way, ever so gently, and then put fold it back. So form the top part of the car, at least half of it. Uh, let's do the same on the other side. This thing is also removable, by the way, but I'm not going to do it because it's pointless. They just tend to slide off as you rotate them. Fold it out and rotate. So there. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll keep it this way, that way, and then fold it that way. This way, that way, and fold it that way. Okay, pretty cool. So far, so good. Go ahead and, uh, uh, yeah, lift it up like that. Now, before you do that, might as well fold up the arms first. Do this, close the fists, do, or the grips that way. Raise it and cover the face with these exhaust ports. And then slide the shoulders inward this way. So he's covering himself up, just like uh, animated RC, I think. Okay, come on now. Okay, looks like he's staying put. Come on. Okay. All right. And then you can fold the fold the uh, this part of the roof over it. Okay. And like that. I think. Yes. Okay. Try it this way. And then you can cover up that part that half of the car. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Lows. Mm. Okay. He's not flush. The way it's. I got him. It's, it, that's as good as it gets. There is really a gap. It's a shame. Yeah. That's as good as it gets, at least on my figure. 
hope your figures are uh, faring better. Next, uh, go ahead and split the hips this way, up like that. Oh, sorry, forgot. As I mentioned in the articulation, you can actually rotate his hips like that, and then split it up. Split the hips, and then you can uh, go ahead and fold down the hood like that. Oops, sorry. Extend the bumper. Look at that fine looking hood. That's how a wrecker should be in always in battle mode. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, just lift up the feet for now. Okay, and then let's transform the feet, or the feet. <laughs> fold out the, this part, the inner part of the leg, and then fold up the, the foot. Like that. Same on the other side. Come on. Okay. Very straightforward transformation, I think, but it, it just takes a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of fidgeting trying to align parts here and there and just fold it up like that. Okay. Okay, align the front fenders. Just make sure they're tabbed in. Okay. And then uh come on now. What am I missing? Okay. Lows. Okay. What did I do wrong? Huh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Didn't collapse the knee. Okay. This thing should be latching on. Okay, there we go. Right, FX friends. Lat collapse that knee. All right. And then... Uh, just try and tab. All right. Okay. That's it. That's as good as it gets, folks. Very, very cool looking figure. Really one of those figures from this way that really flew off the shelves when they first came out. So very, very cool. Uh, really nice armored mode or armed weaponized mode. I really, really like this version of the Impala this uh, race, racing, this uh, NASCAR stock, stock car. Uh, it's not, uh, I, I'm really happy they made this one into an armor, uh, into his weaponized mode. So, very cool. Let me just compare him with Cannon Bumblebee. Still pretty small. Yeah, yeah, no, actually, he's, he's about the same size. He just looks small because he's thinner. Uh... As you can see, yep, about half a centimeter thinner in width, eh, four millimeters, not including this gun. So uh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I will do. So uh, mounting this gun, uh, his mech tech weapon, you can mount it here, I suppose. Yep. So very, very cool. So. Brilliant, brilliant figure. Well done, Hasbro. Good job execution-wise and uh, really, really nice. Uh, a lot better than Roadbuster. So second time around, very nice. Let's hope the the, the lead foot is the best. I'm really hoping for a, for a super, super figure. Uh, probably going to be a Target exclusive. As you can see, this one has these the mesh, the safety mesh. This one doesn't, for obvious reasons. Uh... If you're going to pick this figure out, um, if he's on the shelf, you might want to check out a few of the figures because of pain apps. Uh, a lot better than Roadbuster, I have to say, but uh, this figure suffers just a tad bit. And again, it's the white paint, as you can see, at least on my figure. Uh, there is some jagged edges right there where the paint, the white paint should be, should lie. So some imperfections right here and there. So these are the things you have to look out for. This part, these two parts especially. Second, look at the logo. Uh, the Sprint, NASCAR Sprint logo. Let's see if we can get a good close-up on that. 
right there, make sure it's printed out very well. And again here, the front fender does not have too many too much pain problems. Uh well it's good as it gets, folks. Uh some quality issue. Very, very minimal. Numbers is fine. Autobot symbol. Hey, where the Autobots? Oh, there we go. Uh, pretty cool. Make sure eh, there's no problem with that. It's really just a white paint. So just fo folks, keep a lookout for that. All right. Sorry to have extended this video for more than it should be. Uh, just wanted to be very clear on how, uh, how the transformation is going to be. Because it can be tricky. It's pretty straightforward, but a little bit tricky on the edges. And, uh, you know, just trying to fit everything in. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Um, it, it's a great figure. I highly recommend this guy. Between the two, Roadbuster, this guy, you might want to just wait for Roadbuster to go on clearance and then just pick this one first. Uh, just make sure you check out the paint apps. And it's really a fun, fun um, figure. You might want to do some custom painting here on these things, point paint them silver, whatnot. But as it is, it's a great figure. So good job, Hasbro. There you go, folks. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, despite being very long. Uh, Follow me on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash fxfrance to find out my latest toy purchases. And I hope you found this video very informative and insightful in some way. And uh, I'll see you again in the next review. Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Top Spin. Thanks for watching.